What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. It is Thursday. We've got a brand new update. Season 8 kicks off. We've got a little trailer here showcasing the highlighted li licensed teams. But a lot of the information that we're going to talk about today, there are a lot of questions, right? And I'm going to try answer everything and, and kind of like, yeah, just see where we lie with it. Now, I haven't seen this trailer myself, but I think it's just pretty basic. It's just showing off the new kits with clips and stuff like that. So we're not going to watch this that much. It's just going to show you all the licensed teams. You've got Bayern, Barca, Manchester United showing the new kits or whatever. And it just says that squad numbers and rosters may change due to future updates or transfers or whatever. There's a couple of new faces in there as well. But right, we're not going to go through this, right? The new season is called the Curtain Razor. And to be honest with you, that's exactly as I thought this update was going to be, right? But we actually have a good bit of information in the notes, right? Now, this is going to be something that we need to talk about a little bit more in the live stream later. But I will give you a concise build of or kind of like an overview of everything here, right? So the first bit of information that we get is that the game is going to be releasing in mid-September. And it's not going to be called eFootball 2025. It is simply going to be called eFootball and then whatever version of the game it is. So it's going to be eFootball v4.0. Now, I feel at this stage, it's probably it's probably the way to go because they're not sticking to, you know, the, the generic kind of like new season in real life, new game coming out kind of format that they have for the last 20 plus years. And with eFootball, they've definitely changed it to, you know, a regularly updated. And when I say updated, you know, it's basically been events and cards and coins and stuff like that over the last 12 months. But they have added new stuff as well. Now, also on top of that, pretty much everything is going to carry over from eFootball that you have right now to eFootball uh, 2025 or eFootball v4.0. From now on, I'm just going to call it eFootball. Just no eFootball 2025, just eFootball, right? So from eFootball 2024, which we currently are playing right now, to eFootball that is going to be releasing, it's very confusing, in mid-September, that is going to carry, everything's going to carry over. So you're talking everything that you have in your club, your coins, your points, your GP up to a billion, nominating contracts, chance deals, your badges, skill and training programs, everything, position training, everything. Everything you see here is going to carry over. Also, we get a bit of information that, you know, some things won't carry over. That's just normal. But this is where it gets interesting, right? And this is why I find it a little bit kind of weird that we have still got windows with a very kind of like loose kind of date, right? The players and managers that won't carry over. So some managers obviously will leave their clubs or whatever, or club, you know, say a manager gets, you know, sacked or whatever, he's not going to be that licensed manager then, or he's not going to be an unlicensed manager or a real manager that's with a fake team or whatever. They might be removed. So it says that you can still release them for GP. But what's interesting is they say that the managers are going to be scheduled uh, to become available, will have their status changed during the V2.0 update. So that seems to me that it's going to be like the, the kind of the winter transfer or the January transfer, because they say that V2.0, right? So eFootball V4.0 is going to be coming out next. That's the next big update that we have up here, right? Which is going to be coming out in mid-September, okay? That means that before the winter, we're going to have V1.0, V4.1, and V4.2 coming out in the winter 2024, it's no mention of 2025 or anything like that. So I kind of predicted that I was that um, we were going to have like one kind of launch update, which seems to be what's happening with, with V4.0 or eFootball in mid-September. And then obviously a big update or two big updates before January 2025. And that's what it looks like it will be. Whether this is tied to offline modes with the managers, it looks like it could be because of the managers and this, their status being updated. But we'll get into that in the live stream later because I know a lot of people aren't interested in offline. But I just said I'd mention that. Now, also, for online people as well, right, I'm going to look at the contract renewal. Now, this is kind of confusing with the way it's worded. Um, and each contract renewal, so they basically say each contract renewal you own will be converted into one chance deal. This chance deal will allow you to randomly sign a player from a box containing 100 previously released epic and highlight players. Now, they also talk about that for every six contract renewals, every six 10-day contract renewals you own, you will have them converted to a one chance deal explained above. If you have fewer than the chance deal or the contract renewals in 10 days of 10 or for six, they will be converted into one chance deals. So for me, I think that they talk about the large scale maintenance in mid-September as part of the eFootball v4.0 update. And they just say that some players will be fixed and uh, updated pictures, right? So for me with this contract renewal, is this going to be a box of 100 or is it going to be like 500 players in a box with 100 legends? I don't know. It reads to me there... I mean, some people I know, I mean, like I was talking to a few of the boys earlier um, and they were saying like some people I know, man, have got like 
like a thousand uh, 10 day contracts or 2000 10 day contracts or they have like three or 400 um, contracts that are just not there and they're going to have to be used. So does that mean they're going to get like hundreds and hundreds of uh, chance deals? I don't know. I don't know if there's going to be a cap in it, but I think that that needs to be rectified. I'll try and get information, a little bit more information on that. But there's a lot of information here. There is a lot of information here, obviously. Um, they also talk about the matchmaking as well. Following our recent update, you are being matched against high-ranked opponents. Having monitored the frequency of matches between users of different ratings in Phase 10, along with the results of these matches, we have decided to change the matchmaking process. In Phase 11, we'll be adopting the same process as the one used in Phase 9, and we will continue to work on a fair matchmaking. So I'm going to get into that in the live stream, because there's more to that yeah, I'm going to get into that. There's more, there's a bigger discussion here than a, than a, you know, a seven, eight minute video, right? Um, they also talk about this thing here. Thank you for the continued support, their customer support. I mean, all that sort of stuff. And then that's pretty much it. There isn't really anything else that they're talking about apart from saying, listen, this is what's going to carry over. This is when eFootball is going to be re re uh, like updated um, and stuff like that. And the rest of the stuff that we have in here is going to be just events and cards. I mean, they haven't really added anything as we knew. They just have the rinse and repeat events obviously we have a new match pass and stuff like that you've got these are the, all the new events that you can get and continue to work towards those um the match pass that we have here and the new eFootball phase now obviously i'm in my secondary account here my free to play account Matoma and Courtois are the match pass players um, and also if you haven't got the you know reduced 50% bonus you can still get that with the match pass and that is going to go up until the 12th of September that is potentially going to be the date that eFootball 2024 becomes eFootball 2025 or eFootball v4.0, whatever, v0.4, whatever it's called, uh, or 4.0, yeah, um, and that is the new match pass there, they also have the new phase for the ranking as well in the match pass, or in the eFootball league, I'm on my road to glory here, obviously we're in division one in our main account, uh, but this is phase 11 that has started here, so that's just going to be kicking off, same reward, same pretty much everything, and then it's just going to be cards, right? So the cards at the moment that we have here, there's nothing in the shop. They haven't added anything into the shop. In fact, what they've done in the shop here, they obviously have the players that are still ongoing. If you haven't bought those, I've bought all of those mother profile. The strips, they have that one still there. That's going to be going soon. And then for the items themselves, that's ending in six days. So you won't be able to buy them after six days. Um, but you probably won't even really need them anyway, because we'll talk about what they're probably going to do with that going forward. Now, obviously they've added new objectives, but these are all the cards as well, right? So Perez box is still there, but they do have added a Spanish league attackers, which is a re-release. Croy, Figo and Rivaldo, that comes in this pack here um, with the rest of these players. Some good players in there. We'll do a review on that if you guys want it. Uh, let me know what you think. And then you've got Andres Iniesta and Kangua, and they do have the summer transfers, but, but... They have also got the player of the week. We do not have, at the moment, these curtain raiser players other than... I thought we'd get the summer transfers for the free um, in here. So I thought that these players would be the free ones with the nominating contract, but it seems that they're for coins. So you can buy all of these cards, but to be honest with you, they're quite poor, man. Apart from Yoro, who I'd like to ch check out... Uh, uh, yeah, it's a poor pack. I don't know why they did that, to be honest with you, because this pack actually has better players for the nominating contract and more well-known players. You know, Reese James is good, uh, Mings is good, Gavi is good. So yeah, we will do a review on the two of those packs or the four of those packs, and they also have the J League. But sorry, that's a bit of a fresh cold as well. My, my nose is gone. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for Season 8, lads. Obviously, we'll get into more stuff on the live stream later. Let me know what you guys think. I mean, this is, in my opinion, everything is basically waiting now for the next update. I will see you guys in the live stream later. Don't forget to subscribe.